Today's video is a review of the Ovix Q2S foldable treadmill that retails for $599 on their site as well as Amazon. What makes this brand unique is that they have their own app full of classes including running, cycling, and more. They have a smarter speed control function and it has a powerful 3.0 horsepower motor that has a max speed of 8.7 miles per hour. Today's video will be broken down to the following topic areas. I'm first going to go over some details on the treadmill. I'm also going to talk about the assembly process. Next I'm going to go over my first impression. And lastly, I'm going to wrap up with my overall opinion. Ovix was founded in 2016 and their mission is to provide high quality exercise equipment at an affordable price. On their site, they have five magnetic resistance bike options, four treadmill options, and a rowing machine. So let's get into a few details on this product. For starters, this treadmill weighs 94.8 pounds It goes up to speeds of 8.7 miles per hour. It has a 3.0 horsepower motor and has a deck width of 17 inches. It has dimensions of 64.96 by 25.59 by 44.88 inches. It has a max recommended weight capacity of 264 pounds, voltage of 110 volts, and a running belt of 17 inches in width and 49 inches in length. This treadmill has smarter speed control, allowing you to seamlessly switch from a walk to a run and back to the walk with a single touch of their icon. It has patented silkworm shock absorbers to decrease the impact on your ankles, knees, hips, and lower back. This treadmill folds flat in 20 seconds. It's easy to move around. And it can also be stored standing up or lying down. There are two ways to get your workout data. You can either look on the LED display or you can link the treadmill via Bluetooth to the Fit Show app where you can view your data in real time and compare with friends online. Assembly for this treadmill is quite straightforward. It requires no tools and works directly out of the box. To set up the treadmill, there are two knobs on either side which you will turn counterclockwise to unlock them lift the handlebars and turn the knobs clockwise to lock them again. From there you plug it in, turn on the power switch, insert the emergency key and you're all ready to go. So this is what the Ovix Q2S user manual looks like. On the first page they have a diagram of the treadmill. They also talk about the setup process which is very fast. Also included is this user manual regarding its Bluetooth connectivity. You can connect this treadmill to the Fit Show app, which will display your metrics through the app. We also have a box of accessories. Another nice accessory to have is this oil for the treadmill. So to start the treadmill, you just press the power button in the middle right here. It will do a three, two, one countdown and then it will start. Of course, you want to attach the safety key to your clothes and it's quite lightweight. It's just made of this little ribbon right here. So the slowest initial speed is 0.6. You can increase it in 0.1 increments, which is really great if you like to get a precise number. So this is what the treadmill sounds like at a walking speed of 2.5. And this is what its max speed sounds like of 8.7 miles per hour. 
It's quite fast. I don't think I've ever run at that speed before. They also have a smarter speed control button right here labeled as the shift. Basically what it does, if you press this button during your run, it will jump you back down to a speed of 2.5. If you press it again, it'll go back to your previous speed. So for example, right now we're at a speed of 3.0. If I press shift, it jumps me back down to 2.5 so I can go to a slow, easy walking pace. Once I'm done walking or recovering, I press the shift button again and it goes back to my previous speed. If you'd like to check your pulse, there are two sensors on either side for you to do so. So this is what the emergency key looks like. It's just this little piece of metal that looks like a USB stick. So now I'm gonna show you how to store this treadmill in a vertical position. First, you're gonna to wanna to fold down the handlebars. Next, you're gonna to wanna to extend out these two gray portions. You literally just pull it out and turn it, and that will lock in place. And this is what it looks like when the treadmill is stored vertically. It is all supported with those gray pieces right there, and there's wheels on the back end as well. I wouldn't recommend storing this treadmill around kids as obviously you do not want them knocking it over, but if it is like in an adult household or in the corner somewhere, I'm sure that would be secure. So this is what the treadmill looks like once it's fully assembled. So now I'm gonna do my first impression on this treadmill. So I'm in the middle of a 30 minute workout on the Ovix app. There's a few things I wanna mention about this treadmill right off the bat. One thing I wanna mention is regarding the safety key right here. Say if you were to fall, obviously this portion would be clipped onto your clothes, but if you were to fall, it's actually hard for this portion to come out because for it to come out, you have to pull it horizontal this way, use a bit of force and it detaches. The material itself is like this metal USB looking like key, which you have to perfectly align for it to go into place. And likewise, I think if you fall from like a downward direction, it wouldn't really remove the key. But for me, I will have to admit that oftentimes I don't put the security key onto my clothes, so it's not really an issue for me. I also wanna mention that the handlebars on the side are actually optional. Say if you're walking or running and you swing your arms a lot, you can retract these to give you a bunch of space right here. To set up the handlebars, you just push this button in place and pull up the handlebar. I am aware that not all treadmills have a water bottle holder portion. For me, that's not really an issue. Obviously, you just put the water bottle on the floor or on a bed or a couch if you're next to one. While the treadmill's in use, I do like the side portions right here if you wanted to rest your feet. It has this nice non-slip bubble type texture and the texture gradually fades the further up on the treadmill you get. As this belt is 49 inches long, it is more than long enough for my stride length. So now I'm gonna walk you a bit through the Ovix app, which they do have a bunch of classes in the categories of running, cycling, yoga, and more. They do have a free 30-day trial version if you'd like to try it out for yourself. If not, it is $20 per month, and if you purchase the annual package, it will be less. So this is what the app's homepage looks like. On their app, you can select between classes, programs, or more, and within the classes category, of course, they have cycling, and they have running, they have cardio, and they have yoga. They do have a variety of running classes, which I believe they have a green screen behind it. And they also have a schedule tab if you'd like to join in live. Once again, like the Peloton app, there is also the count me in button. Under the messages tab, you can also high five fellow members. You can also follow people 
And here's a listing of all the instructors. So this app has a free 30 day trial period, which mine says it expires on July 6, 2021. You can purchase it annually by six months, three months, or one month increments. If you pay per month, it's $20 per month. And there's also a workout history showing the previous workouts. I also like that in their app, you do have the ability to pause and play. It has a similar look to the Peloton app. It displays the time elapsed and time remaining on the top bar right here. And it also shows your speed, distance, minutes, and calories burned if you were to sync up your treadmill to the app. You can sync it right here, select treadmill, and connect via Bluetooth. At the end of the workout, they show who the instructor was, and they also have a rating system similar to Peloton. I will be the first to admit that I'm heavily biased towards the Peloton app, as I have been using it for the past year and a half, but it is cool that Ovix has their own app full of classes for you to try. My personal opinion is that it is a bit expensive. If you were to do the annual package, it would cost $14 per month, which is still more than Peloton's price of $12.99 per month for their app. Now for some final thoughts. Number one, this is a sturdy, well-made treadmill that can either be stored upright or under a couch or bed. It's nice to have both options as everyone's home is different. Number two, it has a smooth belt and a powerful three horsepower motor. In comparison, other compact foldable treadmills have 2.5 horsepower motors. I also like how you can adjust the speed in 0.1 increments. Number three, the display is clear, easy to read, and I like the smarter speed control feature. While there is no pause button on this, as most treadmills do not have that, using this feature will quickly decrease the speed to a 2.5 walking pace for you to recover. And this treadmill will remember your previous speed as well. Number four, one con is that there's no incline function. However, at this price point, I wouldn't expect there to be one. If you get closer to the $750 range, you can start to see incline features on treadmills. Number five, it's cool how they have their own app full of cycling, running, yoga, and strength classes. While it is not the Peloton app, it is still a fun option. So anyways, that should do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like this video, subscribe if you're not already, and comment down below what are your thoughts on this product. Do you like the fact that this treadmill comes with their own app with standalone classes? Do you think it's worth it for its price point? As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.